Good afternoon, people. Watch Women 65. Lisa Boyce here. First of all, I want to thank everybody for supporting me on this blog. I said it before and I'll say it again. You are a outstanding um, family, subscriber family. I thank God for you. I pray for you. And I thank you for the support. This blog is a work in progress, believe me, because when Kevin set it up, it's like, I need help. <laughs> Lord, help me. But it's coming together. I put out a thing today about dispensations, and Keegan told me that I can use anything off of his thing. So, And that's what um, I'm doing. So he helped me out with that, too. But I'm going to start putting up things about the rapture, about what's going on, videos, and all that. It's just, I'm not getting rid of the YouTube account. I'm going to keep that, but it's just certain things YouTube, I can't talk about on YouTube. Because they're starting this thing with censoring, and I, I can't be bothered with that. But anyway, I came on here to let you know, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ... Um, died for our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. That is what we have our faith in. That's what we believe. That's the gospel. And that's where our faith lies. It don't lie no other place. Christ shed his blood. That is the gospel right there. People um, want to say, well, no, it's more than believing. No, it's not. It is strictly Believing on the finished work of Jesus Christ. John 3.16, even though Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are in the Old Testament, they're still part of the law. But anytime you see a whosoever in there, that's talking about anybody. John 3.16 says, whosoever, shall, whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So... Whosoever believe. Believe is the key word. We come to Christ believing, not telling him what we've done and what we can do. Because we can do nothing to earn our salvation. We are saved, sealed, until the day of redemption. It is a gift. It is grace through faith in Christ alone. That's the gospel, folks. Simple. Down to earth. No problem. Simple as that. Other people want to put a spin on it and say, we have to do more than that. We have to obey. We have to do this. No, you don't. Your salvation is not uh, reliant on your attitude. Once you are saved, that's why the Bible says, and I said it yesterday, you come to Christ as you are, believing in what he did for you, and the Holy Spirit will take over and take care of the rest. I'm telling you, things will slowly but surely disappear. Slowly but surely disappear. Now, will all things disappear like smoking and all that? Probably not. It takes some time. I smoked for a long time. So, you know, you just got to work on it if you want. You know, I mean, smoking is not a uh, heaven or hell issue. You might get to heaven a little bit sooner, but it's, <laughs> it's not a heaven or hell issue. Some things just don't go away right away when you accept Christ. And that's just the truth. You're not going to match. Some people now, I have heard, there are some drug addicts who, have, who were addicted to heroin and crack, and they were instantly delivered from it. That can happen. I'd never doubt that. And they've never went back to it. That can definitely happen. But some habits are just, it's like a thorn in your side. You just have to constantly talk to the Lord about it. Is that going to keep you out of heaven? No. Because you believe. And you were that, you know what? And I, in my heart of hearts, I believe that it's there. So you can totally depend on him to get you through. Just saying. Anyway, Keegan sent me this uh, piece of information today. This is just one of the articles he sent. The current, the central bank digital currency, the first nationwide central bank digital currency in the, in the world has been launched by the Bahamas. 
Why is the Bahamas called the Bahamas? The Bahamas is a uh, archipelago uh, consisting of 700 islands scattered across a vast expanse of ocean. More than 470 kilometers square, uh, more than 470 square kilometers. Hence the plural. The name Bahama could have originated in the Taino language of the early inhabitants. The challenges for payment system using digital payment or physical cash for such uh, scattered uh, places are understandable. A, compliable, a compelling reason for the launch of the digital um, dollar, also called the sand dollar, is to support a payment system using a liability of the Central Bank of the Bahamas, the safest form of payment in the Bahamas. In addition, it is meant to improve financial inclusion, reduce service delivery costs, and increase transactional uh, efficiency. After a successful 2019 pilot on the island, which reflects the configuration of the Bahamas, the digital uh, dollar was launched yesterday, according to a tweet from Central Bank of the Bahamas. The sand dollar is the first ever nationwide central bank digital currency in the world. Soon to be at a location near us. As a pilot location, Exuma is a smaller version of the Bahamas. The sand dollar will not pay interest and cannot be held non-domestically. Hence, payees not uh, domiciled in the Bahamas cannot directly pay, uh, cannot be directly paid using the sand dollar. However, it can be used for all wholesale and resale trans, uh, transactions domestically. The sand dollar can be used 24/7, 365 days in disconnected settings and bear very low transition fees. I wanted to put this up here and I'm going to link a article. I'm going to link the article to this. This is what's this is a prelude to what's coming. It's already here. Now I don't know whether it's going to be that particular currency that's there in the Bahamas, but Something similar is going to, it's already here. PayPal is already trying to start a, um, is it Bitcoin or something like that they're trying to start? Folks, when we see stuff like this happening, look up. Not that we're already looking up, we're already looking up. But really look, because we're getting ready to get out of here. Real fast. I got more news, but I'm also working on this blog because I have uh, some other stuff, too, to put up. But in the meantime, I wanted to let you know that uh, all is well. I'm just working on this um, this blog and everything, and I really appreciate you guys' support. I love you, and I will be back later. Thank you.